So here we return to chapter 6, page 250, number 38. And you'll recall in the last video we solved part A. So um, we determined the time between interruptions and we created the graph. Now in part B we're being asked what is the probability a business person will have no interruptions during a 15 minute period. Now with our Poisson probability distribution, we would have recorded that x was equal to 0. Okay, but now we're concerned with this 15 minute period. Okay, so we are working with continuous random variables, therefore we need to use the exponential distribution. All right, now it's helpful to think uh, in this part of, of this problem that we're interested in how long before the next interruption. So in other words, how long between interruption number one and interruption number two. And what we're trying to understand is the probability that that time between will be greater than 15 minutes. Okay, we no longer count the number of interruptions, but the time between. Now in part A, we were concerned with the f of x function that gave us the shape and the height. But in this part of the exponential probability distribution, we are interested in the cumulative probabilities. So remember that we need a range of numbers, and x is going to be less than or equal to some value x naught and x naught uh, would be you know, some specific value of x that we're going to substitute for okay, into our formula. Now we have a little bit of a problem here because we're interested in that no interruptions occur, uh, you know, that, the, the, that the time between interruption number one and interruption number two is greater than 15. So here I've repeated the formula and I'm repeating the problem no interruptions for 15 minutes. So the probability that we're interested in is that interruption number one occurs at some time greater than 15 minutes. Okay, so there's no interruptions, or maybe you could say the time between interruption number one or inter interruption number two is greater than 15. So the time has to be greater than, and I've converted this to one fourth hours, or we could say that x has to be greater than one fourth hours. Now here I've repeated the problem again because I want to show you that typically we are looking for x to be less than, for example, our one-fourth of an hour value. But we're not interested in that. We're interested in x being greater than 15 minutes. So that next interruption can't happen until later. So in our formula, if I substituted and put one-fourth, we would be finding the wrong probability. What we have to find is the complement. So if we find the probability that of x less than or equal to 1 fourth, we just simply use the complement to find if it's greater than. So I'm going to take our formula and subtract it from 1. So here I've rewritten it, 1 minus, and then the formula for the probability. I can substitute in, I've got my 1 fourth hours, and I'm dividing by 5.5, which was the value of mu that was given to us. Okay, so you can see that's there. 